plaintiffs Stephanie Villalobos and Matt Smith rented an apartment with the defendant and their witness, who was dating the defendant at the time. However, the defendant and their witness broke up after a violent fight, and the defendant moved out. And now he refuses to pay rent, so they're suing. Defendant Kyle Walker says the reason he broke up with the plaintiff's witness is because he couldn't trust her. And after he moved out, she filed a bogus restraining order against him. Kyle refuses to pay rent as a result of the restraining order. Tell me what happened. A big part of why we're here is because Kyle has some major anger issues that we need to deal with. Um, we were all good friends. Why do you have to deal with? Well, that he needs to deal with. Because we care about him, so oh, we would okay. like it to be solved. All right, good. Um, yeah, we were all good friends. Care so much, you're suing him. Go ahead. Well, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Well, because we it's need your a lot money. Of you right. still care about him, but you we need do. your money. Honestly, we were we were all really I good know. friends, and we did a lot of things together. It wasn't just Renee's boyfriend; he was our friend too. Um, Whose boyfriend? Renee, our oh, okay. other roommate, other who's roommate? here with us today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we all decided to move in together last year in June. We are all on the lease, and it was fine for a couple of months. Things started going downhill. We started hearing a lot of arguing. Um, Matt and I were uncomfortable living there, but we stuck it out because we were all in this together. Oh, it was um, the only anyway, was can I just finish really quick? And then Christmas, it kind of went downhill. There was an argument between Kyle and Renee. Matt and I were not there. Um, it led to their breakup. At that time, Kyle moved out on his own free will. We did not kick him out. We tried to work it out. If he wanted to stay there, that was fine. We would have worked it out. Um, he, January, he wasn't there for a whole month. January 21st, he came and got the rest of his property from the house. I, it was all outside all and ready for him. However, there was a piece of furniture in the locked bedroom, Renee's bedroom at the time. She was not there. So her bedroom was locked, and he decided that he would take matters into his own hands to go through a window to get it. Um, we did call the police because we felt that that was scary and unpredictable, and we've never seen this side of Kyle before. Yeah. So the police came. There was nothing they could do, unfortunately, since he is on the lease. Um, so we helped Renee get a restraining order, which was granted. And she could probably tell you more about that if Renee wants to. All right, let me allow him to give a little bit of background. Um, yes, there were arguments between my ex-girlfriend and I. And uh, it did lead to our breakup. I actually ended up breaking up with her. Main reason is because we didn't get along. There was no trust. It ended up being actually the main thing that broke everything was Christmas Eve. I had left out of the house because the day prior to that she had gone out with another guy, didn't tell me anything about him, ended up coming home and said that it, w and it became a big argument. It came up to an argument so bad that we were yelling back and forth, like they said they weren't there, but that was the last night I even stayed at the house. The very next day I broke up with her, left. What about after breaking me. through the window? Um, as I was going through and moving out of the house, there were days that I would come back, grab stuff, because that everything I had was there. Mm -hmm. The 21st came around, which was the day of me going through the window. I contacted Renee, and she had told me that the door to the bedroom, which I still legally lived in, was locked because there was an item in there that she was going to hold on to until I fixed a different item. So knowing that I've lived there, I know that the side window is unlocked. So. I proceeded to go around, say, hey, you know what? I have a way in. Do these look okay? Which is what I had fixed for Never Renee. Asked permission to go through a window Looked okay. Um, and I don't need permission to go through a window of my own house. Um, unlocked the door, grabbed the dresser, walked out, loaded up, left the house. Next thing I know, I'm receiving a restraining order or a request for a restraining order. In the restraining order, there was the 21st, there was that incident. There was another incident where she had said, I'm sorry, Renee had said that I had pushed her to the ground, I had chased after her or something like that. I had run after her. Uh, she ran in the house crying when in fact, all I did was actually step between her and my vehicle and then she went to the other side, grabbed stuff and I helped her bring them into the house. Plaintiffs Stephanie Villalobos and Matt Smith say the defendant dated their witness and the four of them lived together. But after they broke up, their witness was forced to file a restraining order against him. Ma'am, you want to come up and speak? State your name. Hello, Honor. I'm Renee Clements. Okay. What do you want to tell me about um, all of this? Just a little background on our relationship. It wasn't a healthy one. I'll admit that. Um, for the year and a half we dated beforehand, we had our ups and downs like every couple does. But we moved in together, and within six months is when it all ended. Um, leading up to 
the restraining order and the breakup, there were plenty of arguments that turned very um, crazy on his part. I've seen many holes punched in walls. Um, the item that he fixed was a big armoire in my room that he punched both doors this, and broke. This when did he do that? Both then? doors. Yeah. When? Um, a few months before we broke up. And even when we broke up, um, we talked on December 24th, and he told me he wanted to move out, and we discussed whether or not he was still going to pay rent, and he said he would, and I understood the hardship of staying somewhere else, paying rent at another location, and paying rent for the house. Sir, did you in. say you'd pay the rent after moving? I said that I would pay partial of while I was there. Your Honor, I have an email that while I sent. While you were there? I know you'd pay it while you were there. That's a requirement yeah. of living somewhere. Uh, My uh, question was, actually, did, did you tell her you'd pay after leaving? I, um, I actually paid after. I paid the month of January, even though I did not live there. And how much notice did you give them that you were moving? One month. All right. And you were on the lease, however, for the remaining uh, time. That is correct. But right. I Why do don't you have... think you should pay for February? I have a restraining order. Mm -hmm. saying that I am legally not allowed to live there. Mm -hmm. Beginning when? Beginning February 14th. Mm -hmm. So you have February rent and you have 125 of January. Right. Yeah, I have a breakdown as well. We also have uh, interest that, we're, uh, that I forewarned him about that we're charging. Uh, we signed the lease in June of 2011. You know, one year lease, it ends in June 2012. Um, and he still hasn't paid for March. He hasn't paid for April. Who's I'm, to say he's I'm legally not well? allowed to live there. Mm -hmm. Why pay for something I'm not um, allowed to also, live in? Also, Your Honor, I was not on the restraining order, so him and I could have contact in case he needed mm -hmm. to pay for rent. So you aren't allowed to live there because of your own actions. They didn't do anything to prohibit you from well, living there. That's why you have to pay. I had, I had fought those. Because you order. went through the window or you did all these other things. Uh, so you're charging how much in interest? Uh, 590 100%. Which is his portion That's of the rent. amount that, that he paid in rent that we had to pick up. Okay, then you're charging him for the additional exactly. months of rent. There's yes. no such well, thing as 100% interest. Yeah. That's illegal. <laughs> that, no. is, that is what he's charging me. If we, you look at the breakdown, it's... We expected it's... him not to pay after this month, and we, we don't make very much money, and it's become mm -hmm. a financial hardship. When someone abandons the lease, which is what he has done due to his own actions... Well, um, so well what? I'm sorry. Um... Didn't you I move was, out because yeah. you all were having troubles? I moved out because we were having troubles, and then right. I got legally obligated to not live there. No, but, right, because of what you did. That's how but, you were legally obligated. That's how you were put out, prohibited from being in her company because of what you did. Do you understand now? I, I understand that. Good, I'm glad you do. $1,305 for the plaintiffs. If I'm not going to grant you that interest, I will grant you the additional month. All right, have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. I got everything back. Um, well, I think I got everything back, but I don't know. On friends relationship-wise, I probably won't ever talk to him again, ever. Now we, we go back to court after the lease is up in June, take him for the uh, remaining months that he's missed and that he's going to continue to miss. And we'll get what's rightfully ours. <laughs>